At least for me, this is a really, really good compliment getter. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Owl Wisdom Day by the House of Rasasi. For a while there, they were hyping their Invictus Aqua clone or something like that. People said it smelled better even than Invictus Aqua and I remember it being kind of more expensive. This one is much more affordable. I'll put the how much I paid down below, but it was like probably around $25, $30. So really, really inexpensive. It's supposed to be a silver mountain water clone and I actually was pretty blown away by this. I actually just reviewed this one called like I think Silver Shade. I really like that and then somebody mentioned this Rasasi clone so that's how I got involved with it. So let's jump into the notes of this fragrance. The notes are bergamot, geranium, lavender, rose, sandalwood, clary sage, cedar, musk, amber, oud, and oak moss. Now I've said this before in a lot of my other videos but Silver Mountain Water has this kind of like a different style citrusy freshness that makes it really good for kind of a little bit of the heat, but it also has a little bit of this metallic quality that makes it a little bit better in the cold. So it's kind of just an all around good scent for almost any time of day. And on top of that, it is, it's very musky too. Usually fresh musky is, it's just really, really easy to wear. And it's not a surprise that Creed made that because Creed is kind of known for these fresh musky kind of bombs. The one difference with this one is that it does have rose, which I believe the other versions did not have. And to be honest, I didn't really notice this rose at all until I was reading some reviews later on. I mean, probably about a day or a day or so ago, I've tried this out for about a week, you know, maybe two weeks. So I really didn't even smell that rose in there. I'm not a really big fan of rose. So it was interesting to see that it was in there and I do smell it a little bit. I did have another Silver Mountain Water clone, uh, Alhara Main, the silver one. And I found that fragrance to be just a little bit feminine, although it was much cleaned up versus, versus the Derby Clubhouse Blanche. Uh, our mauve cone, which I really liked. I found that to be a little more masculine, but I found that the Derby Clubhouse Blanche did have a definite off-putting vibe, and a lot of other people have said that as well. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it smells very, very similar to Silver Mountain Water. I mean, that's what you're looking for when you get in here. I will say it's probably not a 100% a spot-on clone, but it's very, very similar, and there's certain aspects to it that I may like more than Silver Mountain Water, so I don't really mind that it's it's different, although it's very, very similar. I was looking for it to be similar, and it was. Okay, another pro of this is that it has no roughness. If you ever smelled the Armav's Derby Clubhouse Silver, that Armav was really, really rough. It was pretty bad. You spray it up, and it, you get up close to it, and it was really, really rough, the Armav clone. This one has none of that roughness in there. It's just a very smooth even fragrance all the way through i really appreciate that and it is a great projector now i would say the original silver mountain water and those clones i get maybe a good 90 minutes solid projection it's not super super weak but it's also not super super strong for a fresh musky that's you know you can't really ask for too much more I felt like this was by far the highest projecting Silver Mountain Water clone that I own. It just had a noticeably longer projection than all the other ones. I would say I get maybe two and a half, maybe up to three hours of solid projection with this one. I've sprayed this up several times and people have noticed it when I didn't even have, know I was still wearing it or I forgot when I sprayed it. So it is a very noticeable projector, which I appreciate. At least for me, this is a really, really good compliment getter. There's a friend of mine that we go e-skating sometimes at the end of the night, and I pretty much am always wearing fragrances. You know me, guys, I'm always testing something, and if I'm not testing something, I'm wearing something I really like. Every time I've gotten off work and gone skating with him, I pretty much have a fragrance on, and the only times he's ever noticed anything is when I wear like a good fierce clone, and even then, it wasn't every time he would mention something, so he definitely did say that this smells really really good and then he even said I'm really really picky so I'm not just saying that so I'm like okay that was one compliment you know it's kind of from a, a guy friend it's not really like the most you'd want right so then I was actually going through the drive-thru right when I got off work it was like 1235 I guess I had this on I don't remember when I sprayed it a girl comes to the drive-thru takes my order and then a guy comes back to the drive-thru with my card and he's like hey man like that smells like super bomb like what are you wearing like what do you want like, oh man just give me like bro like that just smells so so good I'm like oh man that's great it's a great I can't believe that you know and I was wondering like I wonder if the girl said she liked it and then she told them and then they wanted to wear it because she liked it. I have no idea. But then 
there was another guy working there and the other guy came to give me my order and he said the same thing oh man dude your cologne's so bomb and they're all by the window just like oh man your cologne's so bomb like what's it called Al wisdom day like I, and it was just like i don't think i've ever had so many people interested in my cologne in the drive through and it was like and honestly like oh that smells so good i gotta get my hands on it and i just think for me it's one of those fragrances like I think certain DNAs give me more compliments, just who I am. And I think for you, it's just depends on who you are. You get more compliments with certain DNAs. I guess people really, really like the Silver Mountain Water DNA on me because I actually did get a compliment with um, the Derby Clubhouse Silver as well. And then the last pro is that it has a very, very good price. It's like 30 bucks, super solid. Okay guys, for the cons, I really almost don't have any cons. I will say on Fragrantica, some people said that, oh, this smells like your grandma. Oh, this smells very feminine. And oh, I smell the rose and the rose kills it. I gotta say, I really, really don't like rose. And I do smell the rose in here. And I, to be honest, I don't really mind it that much. I, I don't know why, maybe because like once it gets in the air, it doesn't really smell like rose. It isn't a super rose dominant fragrance, although you could smell it in there. The only con I would say, I guess, is that it has rose and I'm not really a big fan of it. And you know, if you smell this and you hate rose, maybe you'd hate it, I don't know. But I didn't know it had rose in it and I enjoyed it pretty much the whole time. I guess if I was stretching for another con is that it's a DNA that we've smelled for a long time, but that's pretty much all clones. So I really don't have almost any cons with this fragrance. If I were to give it a smell rating, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Super, super solid. Likeability, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it even might be a little bit unisex. It's just a generally pretty likable fragrance. And then for longevity and projection, I'm going to give it an 8 to an 8.5, this is actually a really strong projector for the Silver Mountain Water DNA. I didn't write any situations for this one. Most people know what Silver, Mo Most people know what Silver Mountain Water smells like. Probably very, very good for the office. Maybe not the best thing ever, but really, really good. For the gym, I would say I would probably go with a little bit of a lighter one than this one, because it is a little bit stronger and there's so much lighter Silver Mountain Water clones out there. Still very solid for the gym. For a date, for some reason, I would say this is probably better in just like a fresh outdoor setting. It's not something I'd wear for like a really elegant, classy date at the end of the day. This is just really an everyday style fragrance for something in the middle weather. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Rasasi. Let me know what you think of Owl Wisdom Day. I was actually pleasantly surprised with this fragrance and I really enjoyed the compliments that I got. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.